Hi, I'm Nick Howley. And I'm Lori Howley. And we're the founders and trustees of the Howley Foundation. Well, I'm one of eight children. I'm the oldest of eight. I was born in Philadelphia. I went uh, through the uh, Catholic school system in Philadelphia. Uh, I then uh, went to Drexel University as an engineer and then to uh, uh, Harvard Graduate School. Uh, I started a company that became a large public company, and that has been the source of the funding for our philanthropy. I grew up in upstate New York, Elmira, New York. I am the first in my family to graduate from a college with a four-year degree. I have a master's and bachelor's degree in ornamental horticulture from Cornell University, uh, which means that I love plants, I love growing plants. I'm a little bit of a crazy gardener who has turned into a philanthropist. We had started a company many years ago that became a large public company and allowed us, either through good luck or good management, to begin to accumulate a fair amount of wealth. And when we did that, we felt an obligation to find a way to give that back to do good. Um, we had always felt that, as parents, that one of the most important things that we could give to our children was um, a value system and a good education. And when we started looking at where we wanted to see our foundation, um, it seemed to us that the best thing we could do for, for others was to give them that education and that value system. We started out with one student and as the foundation grew, um, we found that we could no longer do this on my kitchen table. And we ended up you know, having to hire someone else. But it definitely is a homegrown situation that has expanded into something we never thought would happen. Both Laurie and I strongly believe that the best way to promote equality and upward social and economic mobility throughout society is for everyone to have access to a high quality education that also promotes a moral compass of character. As we looked around the inner cities, we saw many, many students were deprived of that opportunity. And we just didn't think that was fair. I think we're somewhat unique in our view towards our giving. Uh, we are very metric and outcome oriented. I tend to look at philanthropy similar to the way I look at making investments. We are investing the money not to make ourselves feel good, but to get educational outcomes for the students we support. Um, I think another unique thing about our foundation is that we try to engage with our students we like to have lunch with them um, once a year if possible um, and let them know that there is someone there who cares and we like to make sure that they get the support that they need to complete their education. We now, in any given year, have right around 700 students that we're helping. We expect to continue to expand this foundation and expand it significantly. An increasing number of high school students we're also expanding more into uh, both grade school students as well as college scholarships. Additionally, we are funding a broad range of new educational initiatives and feasibility studies with all different areas of learning. Um, for example, um, we're working with uh, groups that I think will we'll be working with the building trades. We'll be uh, working with medical technicians so that when you graduate from high school, you will have some kind of a, an occupation ready to go. Um, also, we work with um, a school that deals with refugees. So there are many interesting educational opportunities out there. And it's important that parents learn about those and have the choice to send their students there.